Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good whatever time it is. Welcome back to another episode of Mr. Wally Rocks. Today, we're going to the beach. Ah, we made it to the beach. Awesome. Ah, just kidding. This video is about how to read a tide chart. But there we are. Look, we made it. Also, if you haven't already, go and watch the How Tides Work How Tides Work video. Go watch it. I didn't make it because it took it would take too long to make this video, but go watch it. It'll tell you how tides work. This video is strictly just how the tide chart works, all right? Let's present it. Here we go. So here's your chart here. This is the tides at King's Point. This wavy line represents the water level, but before we get to that, at the bottom here you have time going from days, right? December 23rd, 24th, 25th, time moves to the right. Each major intervals 12, 12 to 6, 12 to 6 a.m. p.m. In between here, each solid line is two hours, I think. Yeah, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, boom, that works. Up here we have a high tide where the water level is high. Down here we have a low tide where the water level is low i.e. water levels on the side here. This is a base sea level, or the average base sea level is zero. And this is above sea level, and this is below sea level. Here, this will represent our water. Okay, now as, as time moves on, here's time again. As time moves on, say it's December 23rd at 9 a.m., yeah, six, seven, eight, nine, at 9 a.m., the water level is going to be really high, and then as we move on to 12 or noon, the water level is going to drop. It's going to get lower, 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 and as time moves on, and then it'll it'll come back up again. Okay, this this guy it should be low. This guy should be lower. But anyway, it it goes up and down, right? The water flows with time. The tides go with time. So here's a quick question. At what time is the second low tide on December 24th? So here's December 24th. The first low tide would be here because this is the first dip in within December 24th. At what time is the second? Here's the second, right? So then you go 12 and then one, two, three, four. In between four and six is five. So it should be 5 p.m., not 7 p.m., that was my mistake. 5 p.m., 5 p.m. When will the next low tide be on December 26th? Now, December 26th isn't listed here, is it? So we actually have to make up December 26th, but as we know, the tides are cyclical, so that means they, they will continue. This is my really bad drawing of the continuation of this. So December 26th, first low tide. Here's the high tide going into December 26th. The first low tide is going to be right here, right? Now, judging by the times of other past tides, we can tell what time this is going to be. So right here, it's 5 a.m. Right here, it's 6 p.m. And then, so this is going to be probably 7 because it goes, it adds like half hour each time or about an hour each time. But anyway, the difference between here, if you go back, the difference between 6 and 12 is about six hours maybe like six and a half so I would, I would always round up here this is the high point this is the low point so as we move on we see it's going to be like 7 p.m ish all right guys that's it thanks for watching good luck with the questions